Morning folks, Greg from AOK here. Day four on the Wordsboro deck. Uh, we took a day off yesterday. We had a couple things that we had to finish up on another job for a new customer actually. But we're back today. Let's get you up to date. Okay, I think the last time we uh, shot a segment we were just finishing up the joists, pointing out the flashing and the joist hangers. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. We don't keep track of these things. We ad lib it all. So, but today, uh, since then, we've uh, done the plywood on the deck. We've done purlings because this customer is going to be putting foam insulation in the floor and in the walls. Should there ever come a time down the future that this space gets enclosed and becomes a three-season room or possibly a year-round room, that work's done. To go back and do it after the fact would cost double the money and you'd get nowhere near as good a job. So I recommend that if that's even a consideration, I think we should do it now. I try to do that with all my projects. I try to point out, you know, potential things that may become uh, a possibility in the future and, and certain things we can do now would save you money later on. So that's what the purling to do. That raises the floor up to create a cavity to put the insulation in. Then we'll put another layer of pressure treated plywood on top of this. And then the finished components begin, which uh, is a red mahogany from Malaysia on the floor. And we'll be doing uh, a beveled cedared siding to match the existing part of the house. And basically, as we had said from the beginning, restore this back to its original integrity with a few upgrades. We've done some electrical work, which also uh, took a little time. Uh, we have uh, GFI protected outlets throughout. We have telephone and cable on both sides of the house right here. Uh, so pretty much this room is ready to do just about everything you can do inside. All right, so we'll stop back uh, probably in a segment or two and uh, follow up on the completion. Thanks, Greg from AOK. We'll see you on the next one.